I do like mirror toys, all sorts. Some of them are serious ones by some friends who are academics, and others are just fun ones, like this one here, which is a Tommy toy from 1990. It's called a ghost, ghost Bank. I wonder why they call it a Ghost Bank. Well, you'll probably see in a minute if I can get it to focus. So it's got a, a sort of monster there who isn't actually there. That's the reflection, because at the very back of the thing, at the deep back, there's a curved screen which is picking him up. And it's reflecting on something that's behind this wall here, which faces the wrong way. It's very cleverly done. Anyway, the main point is it's a magic bank, a, a coin bank, so we've got to put some coins in it. I've just got to see if I can put a coin in here backwards. I'll see, I might just put it round first so I can see what I'm doing and then I'll put, bring it up to camera. That's right, it sits there like that. That's probably the best way to do it. Then what we've got to do is we've got to push the coin down and it goes into his mouth as if he's eating it. And then he does eat it, he gobbles it because you pull this down and oh, oh, he's eaten it. And I've got uh, another one. I'll do a, over a penny. It's, it's very particular about the coins it has. Two small and they fall through. Two bigger they don't. Oh, that's gone straight down into his mouth. And there he is eating his coin. You see? Well, apparently. And now I'm going to do that. Oh, he's eaten another one. Let's try one last one. It, it does like the 20p and the 1p coins in Britain. So what they'll be for the Americans, and I'm not sure. But there we are. And there is he's cross-eyed. You notice that cross-eyed? We'll get him to eat it now. Boom. Crunch, crunch, crunch. He doesn't want to let go of this one. He likes it too much. Oh well, let's leave him with it. <laughs> but you got the idea. It's a very, very clever idea because the actual thing is is behind the wall here, which is completely hidden, and that bit at the back is actually a curved mirror which reflects it and brings it into a focus. So a most ingenious idea from Tommy, which I've had for, well, 1990, a long time, I guess. That's one. There's a couple of uh, mirror toys, which are, yeah, they have heard the first one. <laughs> <laughs> if I look into my face, here we are. And I've got to make sure that I can <coughs> see, see the camera. Where's the camera? And it's got a little thing at the back, which when I take that away, put my hand in back. The reason for that, it's got a little light-sensitive diode somewhere up here, I think it is. You know, it's down here, that's right, that one there. And when you take it away, it whistles. And it's pretending that I've got a good-looking face. Well, that's nice, isn't it? And the other one is uh, a compact mirror, which I've had in a long time, this one, but I don't think I've ever shown it before. Again, it's got batteries inside it and a little speaker. When you open this one, It laughs. I've got a funny face, apparently. Is it a funny face? Well, I can't say. I've got two mirrors here to look at, but there we are. It's when you open and close the king, it breaks into laughter, as if you've got a funny face. So two mirrors, both of which have noises to them as well, which is a bit of fun. One whistles, and one laughs at you, the viewer. There we are. Here's a very interesting one, which I've never shown before. And it's called Floppy. There's a blurb for it as well. Floppy the Mirror. Look at this. Floppy the Mirror. This is for very small kids, really. And here's the actual mirror itself. It's, um, it's foam back. That's a foam. On the front is a mirror, like that there. And for small kids, it's so easy to do. All they've got to do is bend it this way, bend it that way, bend it backwards, and you get some nice effects, of course, don't you? Let's have a go. So here we go. Well, you just about see my face, but I can certainly distort it in many different ways, as you imagine. Make it convex, make it concave, make it all sorts of ways. That's a very simple thing for small children to play with because the mirror is very, um, 
it's very flexible and it makes it a lot of fun for children. Instantly, they can have fun with it. I don't think I've ever seen it done, done before or since, so I think other people ought to pick up on that. It's a nice idea. You can buy mirror paper easily enough, but to back it like that with a frame and foam rubber at the back so children can handle it well uh, is a very nice idea. So well done, the designer there. The last item are two very sophisticated versions of anamorphic writing. This is this is particularly nice. It's um, it's a beer glass and a mat that goes on a coast. So here's a coaster, which um, not that easy to see what it's saying. But however, when it's on this, I'm going to put it this way around, haven't I? And you look into the mirror. I'll see if I can get it to focus. Cheers, it's saying. So as you pick up the glass and drink from it. It's saying cheers if you put it back again. So it's wishing you cheers. That's a clever idea, that. And the last item is also a very nice concept because it's um, it's, a, it's a perfectly normal metal coffee cup, I suppose. Yes, yeah, more like tea. But it's mirrored. It's got the mirror there. That's a clever bit. They don't actually need to add a mirror to it. And there's a saucer it goes with, which says something rather distorted. Well, actually, because you know it's going to be coffee. It's almost readable, actually. But it makes it much easier to read when that's on it, and then we can see it. C O F F E E coffee. Beautiful. So curved mirrors, flat mirrors, bending mirrors, mirrors everywhere. I love it. <laughs> I think um, there's going to be a few more of these because I, I have a, quite a number of mirror toys and I'm very, very fond of them. So we'll see what else we can dig up, but that's a good start. Looking in the mirror. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.